Does anyone remember this PC build here? In the NZXT H1? We built it for my brother a few months back, but apparently it's a fire hazard. Now there is a very simple fix for this issue. We'll show you what that is in this video. We're gonna take care of it for, uh, for my brother because I don't want his house burning down. Uh, I also think that uh, we should spend a few minutes cleaning some of the dust that's caked up in this radiator. We've got quite a bit of dust in this dust filter as well. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but uh, it's pretty gross. So we'll clean this all up for him. We'll swap the screws and the riser with the nylon screws in the XT scent, and we'll make sure everything boots again. Stay with me. Team Group T-Force Zeus Sodims boast large capacities and frequencies up to 3200 megahertz, making them perfect for gaming laptops and content creators. Quality ICs ensure stable performance and portable form factors and are generally easy to install. Learn more about these memory modules by clicking the link below. So, NGXT was kind enough to include an H1 repair kit guide. If you have one of these H1s and you email them about fixing your build, uh, they'll send you one of these and it's pretty straightforward. All we really need to do is remove our graphics card and then we'll fix the riser cable. Where is it? Right there. Yep. Step three. And these here are the included nuts and screws. We'll only need two of these a piece. You can see they are made of nylon. They are not metal, so they should not be conductive. And it should be as easy as one, two, three. Oh, whoops. I should probably unplug this uh, PCI cable. Get on out of there. There we go. All right, card is removed. Now the two problem areas are here and here. These screws are made of metal and if you over torque these, you could pierce through some of the traces that could result in a short, which could result in a fire. That is no bueno. Now it is not easy accessing this top screw and I'm trying my best not to strip it. Not that I really need it for anything else, but I imagine installing the nylon screw is gonna be problematic because uh, well, the locking mechanism for the riser cable is kind of in the way. This bottom screw down here, much easier to access. So we remove these two. This cable will probably just be hanging there. It's actually a fairly rigid riser cable. So here we go, second screw is removed. Let's get our nylon ones. Now, I felt a bit silly. These nylon screws just kind of pass through uh, the threading for the metal screws. So they're, they're not the same thread size. So uh, you use these nuts to kind of hold things in place. I guess it makes sense. That's why they included them, but uh, just seems a bit silly. And we'll take care of the top one now. So we just pass this one through. If I can even get it in there. This is, this is not a very good design. And I imagine will be problematic for other, oh, I keep losing it. <laughs> It's difficult to get this screw in here with this locking mechanism where it is. Kind of, there we go. You can see the threads just slide right through. And then you're gonna wanna use this nut. I'm just gonna twist it. Uh, I'm gonna hand tighten it. I'm not gonna tighten any further than that. It doesn't really need to be any more tight. At the end of the day, the card being locked to the chassis is what's gonna keep this thing rigid. So, I think that's about it. Can't get much tighter than that. And uh, yeah, I mean, the riser cable's not going anywhere. Now, with the graphics card still out, I'm gonna take my electric duster, get rid of this dust, clean the system up for him before we give it back to him. You know what, I realized I only gave my brother a GTX 1660 for his build. I thought this was an RTX 2070 or something like that because it's a triple fan card. This is a bit overkill for a 1660. It's a fairly light card, so the cooler is uh, not very dense. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade him. He's been complaining a bit about frame rates. I think he sees my system, the other system in the game room here, and he kind of envies that. I don't blame him. I mean, I get this stuff for free anyway. So I'm gonna upgrade him to an RX 6800. Uh, which is going to be a fairly night and day difference uh, between this and the 1660. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything to him though. I'm just gonna plug it in and uh, I'll swap the drivers out so he won't notice that anything's wrong. And uh, when he starts gaming again, we'll, we'll probably play tonight. Uh, I'll see if he notices any major difference. And I'll report back to you in a pinned comment in this video. So be sure to check that out. And the recommended power supply for a 6800 is in the ballpark of about 600 watts. There is a 650 watt SFX power supply in this H1. And uh, that should be enough for this card, in case you're wondering. 
We're just gonna slot that in. Can it go all the way in? Doesn't look like it's all the way in. Oh, that, yep, that did it right there. Okay, there are two PCI 8 pins to connect up top here. Then we'll get these taken care of. There we go, tuck the excess behind this little uh, panel here. And we just need to screw the card into the case. Nice, so a clean case, a clean build again. I didn't deep clean this system, but uh, it definitely looks much better than it did, getting rid of that excess dust and a more powerful system. I think Kyle's a winner all around. Now, while most cases have two side panels, the H1 technically has four, although two of them are kind of integrated into one. And then the other two, let's see, we have this one here. That's all clean now. And this one, the glass front panel. So let's get all this reassembled and then we'll install AMD drivers. And the AMD drivers have been installed. I always use auto detect. It's just easy for me that way. I don't really care what driver version it is as long as it's stable at this point with AMD. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna send this back to my brother. Actually, I'm gonna have to drive it over to his house and I'm gonna see if I can record his reaction to the new card. He's not gonna know. Again, that's why I took care of the drivers now because uh, he's just gonna turn his PC on. He won't really realize that anything is different uh, until he starts playing a game. So I'm gonna see tonight if he will play Call of Duty Warzone with me and uh, see if I can get a reaction out of him. Worst case, I don't, but hey, at least his system is running nice and clean now. Uh, no risk of fire, thankfully, and he's got an upgrade. So that is all for this one. Thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Spotify playlist. Join our public Discord server, and I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for preventing fires with me.